In this video, I will show to you how to set up your Textbox app on your Shopify 2.0 themes. So I think we can start directly. So you see, I have already opened up my demo store. And um, what you can see now, I have selected the new version of themes. In this case, it's called Dawn. So it's a 0.2.0 theme. So you can simply also go to the theme store or to the free themes and you will always see a small notification if this, this theme is related to the new version of themes. In my case, I have selected it already and I will now show you how to set up your text box on this new version of themes, the 2.0 Shopify themes. So let's go directly here to the app section, click on the text box app. This will open up and the first thing you're going to do is click the button new text field. So it's always important to name the field unique. In this case, I will simply call it um, sample. And in the section below, you will always see a live preview of the um, settings you will make here in the text field settings section. You have different kind of opportunities. You can go to a single line, multi-line text field can change all the headings, all the colors and everything else. And here in the text field targeting, there is pre-selected that this text field you, are, you will add now is uh, visible to all products and all variants. So then simply hit the save button and you will see now in the back end, this kind of text field is added. But now very important for the 2.0 themes is that you will also go to online store we click the button customize, then we'll select the product where you want to display the text box on. In my case, I have called it ABC. <clears throat> In some cases, the text box will be all already visible, but it's very important, no matter if it's already shown or not, that you will add an ad block to it. So simply click here on the left side, ad block, scroll down then you see apps and here you can recognize the text box app now you will click on it you see the text box is now showing here below the buy it now button but the good thing is now you can decide where you want to display the text box so simply click here and hold it clicked and then you can move the position where you want to show it. You can also show it directly below the title if you want to show it there. But in most cases, it makes the most sense to show it above the add to cart button and then it's visible. The only thing you have to do now is click the save button that your settings are overtaken and you're already done. <clears throat> 